Also, oh. J-Rob, last week we basically called Disney on Fraud Watch last week, and then Tank's like, yeah, I just basically, this is an extension of last week. And I'm like... Yeah, I called out Disney. No, Why I'm is Disney right. on Fraud Well, Disney, Disney, I mean, are they on Fraud Watch? I mean, I just think personally, <laughs> listen, I'm going to say this. Stan, you I think what the CEO I, said about Disney? No, I, I did, I did. But I do think it's a little bit not... I do think people are on Marvel a little bit crazy now because, you know, they're being very inclusive and things like that. But I do think it's a little overblown because Stan Lee's been the most inclusive comic book writer of all time. I mean, look at what he's done over the span of his career as a creator. Now they are on floor watch because it's still about quality at the end of the day. It's not just about being inclusive. It's about the quality of the content in which you put it out. And ultimately when you got, when you have she Hulk twerking, with Meg oh, the Stallion, <laughs> those right, comic, but those comic book fans out there are not going to resonate with that because that's not like people are still comic book fans. You feel me? That's not people are not going to resonate with with Meg. The, like, what is Meg the Stallion doing in a Marvel Cinematic Universe? You know, like that don't resonate to people. So, and also y'all talking about Marvel, but them Spider Mans is still cracking the streets. That's Marvel. That's that's partly Sony stuff. Yeah, like, no, that's Sony. Matter. Is that the really, best movie Sony, since though. Endgame? Is that the best movie since Endgame? The last Spider Man movie? Is that or well, Shang Chi? Spider Man movie was like gas, bro. I don't care. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, J Rob, have you heard about the Blade stuff? Oh, yeah. The Blade wait. game, right? The game no, like, coming out. I'm buying it for the computer. Yeah, I know yeah. the game, but I'm talking about like how like the main actor, like he almost he almost like left the project. Mahershala yeah. Ali. Mahershala yeah. Ali. Yeah. Because right. of the script. Because like the last until they recently changed it and like they changed directors. They made like the blade, like the whole story. Like he was supposed, he was basically supposed to be like the fourth biggest character in the blade in the blade movie. Like it was supposed to be like it was supposed to be yeah. Like they had it the the script that he was upset about. Like the main characters were all like these three girls and then blades in the background. But it's a blade movie. Mm-hmm. He's like, what the hell? Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 Fantastic no, no, no. Four stuff where they're like for some reason they're just turning Silver Surfer into a woman. I'm not yeah. mad about. I'm not about. I'm not a bad. I'm not mad at all. Well, the issue is like, you're making a Blade movie, but he's like the fourth or third Listen, biggest character. Yeah, I don't in the care movie. more about that. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Sense. I don't care about the chrome. I don't care about the chrome cheeks. I ain't never seen cheeks in chrome anyway. So I'm kind of. I'm excited to see what that looks like. But I'm not gonna hold you. But in I terms where of I'm coming from, yeah. But in terms of <laughs> the comic book fans are pissed. <laughs> I, I mean, they're going to be pissed about a lot of things. I mean, listen, the inclusivity thing, but is Silver Surfer, is he a man or a woman? I don't know the comic book lore, so no, I don't the comic, know. The main one the is a lore. guy, and a it's big a thing guy. about his story. No, no, guy. I know that, but what I'm saying is in the comic book, does he have a gen? Does it does Silver Surfer have a gender in a comic book? I know yeah, he he's a father. He's like, oh, okay, okay. So he's a man. Isn't there okay. multiple Silver Surfers though? There's multiple. There avatars. is. So there's a question: if they use the female version instead of just turning the male version woman. Yeah, that'll be fine. But if they yeah. just turn the ma- male version woman, that'd be weird. It's kind of like because the Superman thing, right? No, was it the Superman thing? It was like something else where they're just, oh yeah, the Superman turning black thing. I saw in terms of DC is like uh, just use a black Superman. You yeah, they want Michael B. Jordan to be the black, the black Superman. Black. <laughs> said, that was the first time they tried. They tried that. They wanted Will Smith to be Superman in Superman Returns, and he said no. He's like, y'all trying to get yeah, him no, killed before <laughs> before like the before DC got. And Warner Brothers got like the new like president before uh, James Gunn got got became the president of the DC shit. Uh, Michael B. Jordan was supposed to be like was supposed to be Superman. Yo, my question to y'all though is like, do y'all really care a lot about? Because like to me, do y'all really care about the way like some of this stuff is being affected by like maybe you know I don't want to say politics, but like the new social you know social inclusion. Do you think uh, it's over? Do y'all think it's do y'all think it's overblown or? Or not because personally, I think we talk. I think it's, it's a little too much talked about. I think we need, need to be talking more about is the quality of just the films that are being put out. I, 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 I agree with you, J Rob. Yeah, like, I, I, I think it is a little overblown. The problem is, you can audiences are not dumb enough to like just let you force feed them. You know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. So, so mind you, we don't like female like this. There was a there was a video on YouTube that said it perfectly. We don't hate female characters. We just love great writing. It was the Edge of Tomorrow, the the Tom Cruise one, where mm-hmm. um okay. that girl that that he was with the whole time, she's a badass, and it, it, yeah. she just that's just who she was. They didn't like force her. That we're not like the one thing with with um was it Captain Marvel that always that always got to me. It was like they're trying to make us like just show us that she's awesome. Don't tell us, don't let her like 
Don't have I mean, to validate her. Don't yeah. just, just show us that she's great. I, did you watch Black? Did anybody? Because I, I don't agree with like when they be saying like all the women stuff is just too much. Because did anybody watch Black Widow? No, I don't have an opinion. No, I, I, I just think they did because Black was Widow was stuff. awesome, but they just did her. It's okay. They, no, they, they, right. her, they did didn't her they dirty. Did they make Taskmaster a woman? Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. They did, did, they did Black Widow dirty at the end because remember. <laughs> but she, I just want to know to everybody's credit, nobody knew Taskmaster was a girl to the very end. All right, that's fair. To the very end, I, I did not know Taskmaster. Get mad on the way out. I'm all right. <laughs> last, like, <laughs> yeah, my, my biggest thing in terms of the conversation is overall, sometimes people people just go overboard. Like the moment they, they make it a little too like um, anti woke or too woke, like they get yeah. extreme on both sides. Not gonna lie. My only thing is like when it comes to this thing, to kind of touch what random says, you can just make good characters regardless of skin mm-hmm. color or gender like we've right. seen it time and time again Duran yeah. Rob, like a good example um resident evil bro everybody loves her even though people don't think it's the greatest movies everybody oh, loves yeah. her as the mc underworld everybody loves uh old girl as the mc like mm-hmm. she's iconic like there's some iconic female characters so you could do it and it comes to like changing the skin color i'm like bro i don't care a lot of times i don't care for the most part my thing is one I think it would just be easier to use a different version of the character that's already that abides by that role because yeah. a lot of times when I'm seeing when they change the skin color or they change very specific parts of the characters, they want to change the character to adhere to the skin color. Yeah. I'm like, why? Like this is still Clark Kent, right? But if you want to make Clark Kent black, that's that okay. People, comic book fans are going to be mad, even though there is a black Superman, right? There's a black yeah. Superman that exists in the comic book, mm-hmm. which you can use in that story. But do not go like, I, to be fair, I didn't watch The Little Mermaid, but some people were scared that The Little Mermaid, they're going to make her a lot different than how they but, the but, the, but The Little Mermaid, but, the, but, the, to, but to me, Riddell, The Little Mermaid thing to me was more than overblown because, fellas, let's be. Let's be honest. It's a it's a mermaid in the Caribbean Sea. Mm. What blonde haired, um, what red haired, blue eyed woman, what red haired, blue eyed white woman lives in the Caribbean in the ocean? You're more likely to see the the Little Mermaid that you've seen in the the area of the world. But you know what else also loses me? They were so upset about Ariel being black. Nobody gave a fuck that the crab in the caribbean was fucking jamaican though i had a jamaican accent and was speaking with a jamaican accent but the moment that mermaid also had adhered to the same rules of being a caribbean themed princess or whatever like the crab oh my god oh my god like, she has brains I, she has brains like, i will say this though bro the, I, the fact that they look like a crab and look like a fish did not they did not move me bro <laughs> <laughs> just a yeah, crab. It just looked like a crab. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah. what about looking I mean, just just saying that I I was born in the Dominican Republic, raised in the Virgin Islands, in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. I never saw a redhead white woman. <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> never. No, hey but, man, uh, overall, like, Disney, I, I, DC, yeah. DC, y'all y'all have the material, bro. Like Blue Beetle. Hey man, but Static Shock is a movie that. The craziest part is it always feels like they're trying Bob to Morales like, too. bro, Five just action. just write a great story. Anime does this all the time. You want to know why J Rob loves Mary Leona? Because she's a fucking badass. They they don't do anything special. She just pulls up, she beats people asses, and she leads. That's what that's she it. does. Like mm-hmm. so. That's why he bays in lava, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, like think, think about it. the biggest one that we've recently seen where where, where they've kind of done this was Amber and Invincible. Like they turned her from white to black, and she just becomes one of the dumbest people. You're yeah. dating a superhero. He can't come help you. I don't you like Amber. I'm gonna I'm gonna be, I'm be honest. I'm gonna be can't honest. Help you. you know, I'm I'm gonna be honest though. I, I just, this this, this is where now I gotta say something about the race thing. So. When when, like when they want when they want to be inclusive, right? Because let's be honest, everybody get mad when they change the character for this and that. But you know what? Let's change Invincible's girlfriend from white to black, even though we all know inevitably he's leaving his black girl for Adam Eve from Adam Eve at some point in the story. And let's make the yeah. black girl mad annoying. Make the let's make the black girl the most annoying character and most hated character on the show. But I don't see a single white soul on the internet mad about, about Amber. 
All those comic book purists don't care about that. But the moment they turn that mermaid into a black woman, a mermaid, fellas, a, a legitimate, a legitimate, a legitimate creature, a mermaid that is literally a it. It is an it. It doesn't adhere to the human code of race. I was still the, the human code of race. Is, is, I like that. <laughs> code of race. No, but to, y- to y'all point, I feel like, especially with Disney, Holy I feel like fuck. They, they just get it wrong. Like they, I feel like they oversaturate. Like with the, the latest Marvel's movie, Black Girl Magic, that was forced. Like there's no reason for, for her to be staying that in the situation she was in. And you know what <laughs> That's else? That's the problem. And Lonnie, you know what else? You know who else? You know what else I blame for some of these dangers that are going on in the world? Some of these creators on the internet who keep this shit alive and well. Straw hat goofy. Part of the problem, bro. These people be a part of the problem, bro. Enablers, nobody willing to speak up and nobody just tell the truth about the product that is putting out. We are all inclusive of everybody. We want to see everybody be great. Let's say what what it really is. They make, like those creators, they help make inclusivity a gag. They make it a gag for the for the content. Like now, now almost every major type of movie or whatever, now it needs to have something inclusive. Get the or pot, or bro. it's not gonna or it's like it, it's like in their project. Like and, no matter and and we too oversensitive, Lonnie. That's really? the issue oh, as well. Too. Sure we too the, the way the a recent way, major movie, the think pieces I saw on that Spider-Man film, the think pieces, that whole debacle about. The 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 Spider Man twenty ninety nine being racist against my like oh bro <laughs> that was the dumbest thing that I've was ever the heard. dumbest thing I ever seen bro I'm sorry the you just fact- doesn't want the world that you're in to end I'm sorry the, the idea that Spider Gwen the deer that Spider Gwen was 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 transgender because her costume that's been around before the LGBTQ movement is happened to be blue white and pink. And this is no slot shot That's at that community, costume, by the way. Yeah, there's no shot at that community, but it's like where are these think pieces coming from with no context. And that Spider-Man feel was inclusive to everybody, to everybody, every single person, even the disabled, can see themselves in that film. Facts. No, that's, that's like like, ultimately every- when it comes down to it. If you want to bring in the my no, this is how I'm gonna put it. My issue is when companies use inclusivity to fool the fans to thinking their product is good. That is my biggest issue. It's like, oh, we got this inclusive thing. Don't care about the rest of the stuff, but it's inclusive, so come watch it. They fool the fans. They try to grab very specific fans just because it's inclusive and don't really, again, care about the quality. I just want to your Black Panther. Black Panther two, whether one of people said or not, Black Panther two was ass. And to your point, Riddell, and like I'm, I agree. Black Panther two was ass. It was. No, it it was. It was was a memorial for Chadwick Boseman. It wasn't a movie. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Lonnie. No, but I'm saying to your point, like, and I'm someone that's like always been active and supportive of the LGBTQ. Like I've gone to prides with friends and stuff like that. It's a good time. It's it's a fun time, uh, but. When I, I feel like these companies, like when they're like making the product, they're like, all right, here, here's what the story is. All right, how are we going to add a person of color in here? How are we going to add someone in the LGBTQ right. community in there? Because right. we need to sell them. We need to we need to get there. Okay, we need to bring them in to buy to buy our product or see our product. And like they don't care how it affects the story, as long as they're in there in some way, shape, or form. Oh, we're, we included everybody. See how but we Lonnie, but everybody. This, but Lonnie, don't they already have the source material to include everybody though? Like my thing is, if you wanted to use a certain black man, right? You got Luke Cage. If you want to lose, use a certain woman that look a certain way. You got this character. If you want this Asian character to be this, you have this character. I think in Marvel, there's so much source material to be used that it's like you don't. I don't think you have to reach. That's my point. You don't have exactly to read because there's so many iterations of characters and there's so many source material to get it right. Like I'm sorry, if they is- really cared, it wouldn't look forced. It would look natural. But once again, people forced. have to understand. I understand Iron right, Man, do, Captain Ronnie. America. All these guys are huge now. When they when before the MCU, they were the B list. Iron Man was a B list character. Captain America mm-hmm. was a B list character. I you agree. can make they them were. better. You can. I you agree. Really with that. can. 
So that, no, that's, that's what always bothers me for real. And we've seen at the very least to say even in this climate, because whatever you want to think about the newer Star Wars, mm-hmm. I think uh what's her name? Ren? Rem? What's her mm-hmm. name? Ray. Rem? Ray. As a main Ray. character, nobody cared that she's a woman. She nobody. just did her job. Oh, she's a bad did her character. job. And yeah, she's she a bad was character. Cool bro, bro, after the first like, movie, all the make, theories they didn't try to do Kenobi's kid. She just did what's her going job. On here? Did it, even though oh. the story writing wasn't great, I liked her as, a, as her character. I liked her character. Mm-hmm. Even I'm the sorry, story. the ending when she took Skywalker's name, I was like, for what? For okay, what? I didn't watch the final part because that thing no, was close. No, I agree. I think there's a, I think there's a reason why the Marvels, I think there's a reason why the Marvels weren't good, bro. The reason why the, the movie didn't do well is not, I think one is because people didn't gain any interest from it due to the fact that what people expected it to be based off what the history has been at Marvel as of late, bro. Yeah. Like She-Hulk, people don't understand. Like She-Hulk is a dope ass character. Why do, that's the reason why people were so upset about the way She-Hulk was done is because She-Hulk is actually fire. She's not a character that should be twerking with Meg Thee Stallion. Like it's not. Like what all my my, my, thing, in my, thing, voice, is, right. my it, thing it is, feels what cheap. It feels cheap. Pull? Yeah, what what are you trying to pull with that? Like you already are hitting these div these uh whatever points and in, in progressions you're trying to hit. The fact that you're doing a she hawk based TV show is already hitting. She's already strong, she's already independent, she's already more intellectually here in her Hulk form than Bruce Banner. And she's a she's, she has as a per, as a perper, J Rob. She's a muscle mommy. How did you fumble that bag? How did you fumble that bag? <laughs> and and the mean, crazy part is, is I like the ones that put me in the headlock like yeah. this. <laughs> the crazy doing? part is they've Step already did a show where there's a female lead and I don't care. It was a good show. WandaVision was good. Everybody WandaVision loved was very good. Wanda, bro. WandaVision was very good. But WandaVision was good. The writing. The writing. It's the writing. Well, it didn't, WandaVision, WandaVision wasn't like trying to pull low hanging fruit. That's what She Hulk no, was, unfortunately. No. Bro, let's be honest. That. Even, even um, the, the Scrawl Invasion joint, that was trash. Trash, bro. Yeah, so it's not. Cold, so bro. so let's not even. Like, we're not gonna sit here and sit here and act like it's just, you know, the women characters or, bro. Secret Invasion was trash. They putting out bad product, bro. J Rob, that was Loki, that should have been a slam dunk. dunk. That should have been a slam dunk. Secret Invasion, bro, an absolute slam dunk. Secret Invasion should have gave us Fantastic Four the ultimate alley oop into the mcu and to me even after secret invasion they're still going to have to explain and incorporate things for the audience because nobody could get behind secret invasion if loki and wandavision did not do as good as both of those shows did the whole idea of these show these marvel shows for characters would be doomed moon knight was trash which is moon crazy. knight is trash bro how you pay a good actor? How you pay a good actor like that and you ruin the show? I like some of Moonlight, but like the overall product was ass. It was ass. Yeah, Moonlight, right. Moonlight is a fire oh, character too, bro. He is. And the the main character's acting though was phenomenal. How he did everything, I was like, yo, like he's no, him. No, that's so a like, they got the right actor right like, for the first it season. Moment. Was terrible. It had its moments. So, I wasn't so, the biggest it's, fan it's, of it's, with it's the, okay with the it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. The main it's character, it's like in his role, he was doing his role. So but what the story that he had to do was terrible. So what? And another good Mar- example Marvel was the crashed. female lead, bro. We already talked about it. Ahsoka was a fire, bro. Yeah, Ahsoka was you. amazing, bro. Thank I loved you. Ahsoka. I love watching it. I loved the. I both main characters were females. Both of them. It was Ahsoka and what's her name? I keep on forgetting her name. Two female leads. Once Everybody again, come on. the antagonist was female again. too, and she was fire. Yeah, Yo, once I'm again, more, I'm people sure. don't. Once again, it's because the night don't like the right. Yeah. The, the, right, the writing, the 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 writing feels natural. It doesn't feel like anything forced or trying to hit any really. points that they have to hit. It just feels like natural writing, which is what we appreciate. Even even think about this in Endgame, which is a fantastic movie. One of one of the one of the biggest problems with that movie, right? All of a sudden, Spider Man gets shot out the air. Uh, Captain Marvel pulls up. He gives him the gauntlet, and all magically, all the women, oh. <laughs> all the women from the entire MCU are just standing together. To fight, yeah. the, and I'm like, what are we doing? You don't have to do this. Valkyrie's awesome. 
Valkyrie is amazing as a character. Just let her be a badass on her Pegasus. Just let her do that. I agree. Like, Listen, what are we doing I, here? I just Gamora feel like... I, know, bro, I'm like, Gamora doesn't even know half these people. Why is I she feel, standing yeah, there? I, yeah, I agree. And and I, 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 I can't think, force it and have and bad think, writing. And I also oh. think when, you're, when they're already, like, they're superheroes with superpowers, they are as equal as anybody out there. Uh, Captain Marvel is the strongest character in the verse. I'm trying to think, right, of this heroes. That or Thor, I think. Thor, or, or, Thor, or, yeah. or, Hulk, or Hulk, or Hulk, Wanda. or Scarlet Witch, or Wanda. Yeah. Or Wanda. But you know what I'm saying? Of the Wanda. top five strongest individual characters in terms of powers, come on, bro. It, it, You know, I just feel like, and, and to me, Marvel is not shown in terms of how they do their characters where anybody is isolated. Black Widow been a badass from the start to the finish. From Gamora, they did, they, they Gamora been bad start to finish. Like, come on, man. So that's all. I just feel like the problem is you're trying to appease, you're trying to appease too many crowds, and all you got to do is appease by doing it naturally, showing yeah. them that people naturally. You, you make a great movie, comic book fans will sell it for you. They literally will. Facts. They will. Yeah, Iron facts. Man one, Iron Man one. That legitimately, my boy is a huge comic book fan. He basically was on me until I watched the movie. And, I, and to this day, it's one of my mm-hmm. favorite movies. Like they, we like comic book fans will sell it for you. Whether whether it's a, you finally do a good She Hulk, maybe you do one day if they ever do a Blue Marvel movie, J. Rob. They could do Blue Marvel. Hey, they Rand, Blue Marvel movie, right now. We will sell it for you. Hell, Black they Panther. Mess up, they mess Black up. Black Panther. The, the commute. The culture sold it because I'm people done. was pulling up. People was pulling I, I up. In, Yo, in, in Rand, they mess up X Men. I am done. I'm gonna tell you what X Men is. That's X-Men not is by I'm far. X Men is by far to me the greatest superhero group. Of them all, Facts. in my opinion, I think the Nothing the wrong, individual, man. I think the individual characters have more substance than we think about. I think Wolverine. I, I'm to be honest, my favorite two people in the X Men universe are Magneto and Cyclops. Y'all don't even really know how crazy Cyclops really is when you look Did at him as a kid. He's oh, old. No. He's he's the definition of a dog and a leader, bro. I rock with him so heavy. The 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 amount of stories that they can pull from X-Men and how good the individual characters are, if they mess up X-Men, I'll never forgive them. Never forgive them. X-Men is all they have left, right? Because Fantastic that's, Four... That's, that's next. That's um, all they have there. X-Men, X-Men, Fantastic Four, but it all starts with that man, my what? favorite character in Marvel, <laughs> Deadpool, my boy. Hey, yo, it, that's hey. going to be fire film. That film going to be fire. They can, but they how many more Deadpool movies can they make, though, for real? They can make as many as they want. They're all good. Are they going to let Ryan Reynolds do his thing, though? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah the universe, the universe is, all the universes is coming together now, bro. You know what makes me feel old, though? Because apparently they're bringing like the young girl from Logan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah she's like 18, 19 now. Yeah, she's, and she's close she's to being now. now. I'm yeah. like, yo, so she's 19, like 18, 19? Well, Lonnie, you know what they're trying to set up for with her, right? In the rest yeah. of the young, they're setting up Young Avengers, which to me, I don't know if y'all, yeah, because you remember they in She Hulk, they showed Hulk's son. And she Hulk, you got scrap. You got you got you got to think, Miles. We got we got <laughs> Iron Heart now. So you got Iron Heart. You got you got Hulk's son. You got um you got um what's my boy's name? They already showed Black Panther's son. So if you depend on what his age yeah. is, you got um then they what's what's Hawkeye's, Hawkeye's prodigy? Hawkeye's prodigy um, whatever her name is. Hawkeye was uh, not a bad show. I'm not gonna hold you. Who's another? Was, who's, I don't think that was bad either. Yeah. Oh, Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel. So Miss Marvel. So there's a few. Oh, and also don't forget, fellas. I know y'all don't know about them Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts gonna be good too. Um, don't sleep. Mm, don't no. sleep on the Thunderbolts. Okay, before before anime, like my on my dad's side, like they're all they're like huge huge comic book fans. If I like my uncle's house, like it like he has like this whole basement full like of like. Yo, low key. If I ever feel like robbing him, I'd be like a millionaire because he has like some old, old, old ass comics. Like, like I think he has like the second issue of Superman. Like, he has some crazy shit. Hey, t- tell like, him to lock that shit up. That shit's valuable. Oh no, he know he knows he knows, and I don't like him. So I, maybe I will rob him. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> no, but I, I grew up reading comics nonstop as a kid. So like all that, I'm really hip on. Mm-hmm. Hey man, fix do the do it right, bro. You know what I'm saying? When it comes Rob to Marvel, right? I know Steve, DC. man. 